Welcome back. Now for interior design fans, Domino Magazine is a huge deal. It's where decor lovers go for their daily dose of inspiration. Domino just has a way of finding the coolest homes to profile. We were lucky enough to join them at the Brooklyn home of Christine Barbaric of Refinery29. I'm good. Thank good you so much for coming you. over. Thank you. Christine, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much for having Thank me. Thank you, Jess. One of the things we really loved about featuring your home in Domino is there are so many ideas and so many takeaways. I mean, working in a small space, it's actually a really fun challenge to solve lots of different problems. So let's look around. Yeah. So how do you think about kind of accessorizing your rooms or even just these chairs? I mean, they make such a statement on their own, but like the pillows really dress it up. I just really love textiles. I love prints, I love patterns, I love mixing them together in crazy ways. And I think that sometimes, you know, for our sofa, it's just really fun to just like throw a lot of different pillows together and just see how they work. What I love about these archive pillows too is just the depth of color. Everything feels so vibrant. Yeah, but they don't feel new. I don't like it when things look like super new. Totally. There's something about that that just kind of turns me off. And even though this is a small space, I love how one area sort of flows to the next. The dining area is right next to the living space, and everything feels like it has a really beautiful flow. Well, it's really open, and obviously we have high ceilings, so we wanted to really celebrate that. We didn't want to cut anything off. You actually have this incredible view of the river, so it does feel a little Parisian in a way. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite spaces is the kitchen, so let's go check it out. Yeah. I love that in a relatively small footprint that this is still such a workable kitchen. Tell me about this surface. This concrete bar was actually made in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn by this third generation Italian concrete company. And we're really sweet about helping us to mix just the right tone because you wanna get that gray right, you know, so it really feels like it works within the space. And it's big enough, so it's just really great for when we have friends over, if I'm cooking, you know, they're sitting around the table and sometimes we just eat dinner here, so. The tile work in here is so interesting. It's almost a really beautiful relief pattern. The tile was actually my husband's idea. It's really subtle, but when the light shines on it, it's really beautiful. One of my favorite details is the pegboard. I'm kind of obsessed with pegboard. I love the texture of it. I just love how it reflects light. And it's also really practical. You can do so much with it. So we just decided to use it there. I love this table, I love this view. I can only imagine what it's like sitting here and watching the sunset. And I love all the art that you have here, but there's so much more to check out, so let's go. So the closet design was really important to me, obviously. Love it's just that. a great space to like hang out outfits if I have a special event that I'm going to. And also to get the things out of your closet that you love. I could spend like a week going through your closet, <laughs> but I also love your use of wallpaper and how you really display your shoes in your bedroom. Honestly, I really appreciate great shoe design. It's not even just for fashion, I just think aesthetically they can be really beautiful. And also the one wall of wallpaper made a transformative difference. It makes in such bedroom. a big impact. Yes. And tell me about this bedspread or blanket because I'm in love with it. Isn't it wild? Yeah. It's a vintage Mexican blanket, but it's actually from Fred Layton, probably oh from the 60s. Fred Layton is a classical jewelry designer. A lot of people yeah. don't know that he did home and fashion way back in the day, and the fact that the color is still so vibrant after all these years is so crazy and rare, but I love it. I'm obsessed with it. This has been so much fun. There are so many ideas and so many takeaways. I just loved it. I could stay here all day. Thank you so much for coming so over. Good it's so to good to see, see you. you.